So what is the association between chronic fatigue, chronic pain, and eating disorders? Well, if the eating disorder involves overeating, um, and leads to the, a lot of sugar coming into the body all at once, which almost everything you eat has sugar in it and uh, can overwhelm your system, especially if the glycemic index is high. That means that, you know, talks about how quickly does the sugar in what you're eating hit your system. So if you're eating a lot of sweets at the same time, what can happen in your body is that you can overwhelm the ability of your cells to transfer the energy in the sugar molecule into uh, a usable form for your body. So the conversion of sugar to ATP has to happen in mitochondria. Especially if you start out with a system that is challenged and there is some degree of mitochondrial dysfunction when you introduce a lot of sugar at once into the system. What happens is that you overwhelm the ability of the mitochondria to handle what's coming in. And so what happens is that you go into uh, glycolysis and anaerobic metabolism. Basically the mitochondria doesn't have enough time to manage the oxygen and then the sugar and put it together and make some ATP. So instead of making 36 uh, or 34, depending on who you listen to, ATPs from a sugar molecule, you only make four or six through glycolysis. And you can see how that leads to fatigue, but how does that lead to pain? Well, when you are in glycolysis, you produce a substance called sorbitol. Sorbitol cannot move across cell membranes. So when you make sorbitol and your body is making more and doesn't have time to actually process the sorbitol, then it keeps it inside the cells and the cells begin to swell up as a result because sorbitol is what's called an osmotic agent and so when this osmotic agent is present in your body it makes the cells swell and it makes you tired the swelling can often lead to pain because well your body's used to being this size and as soon as it goes to that size well then your um you get the nerves and your tissue and your skin are stretched and they can feel pain and then, you know, if you give it time, then what happens is that you will eventually, if you're not eating more and more sugar, then you will eventually process that sorbitol and get rid of it. And you will get rid of the, the fluid that you retained along with it and lose a bunch of weight and you will feel better. So that's the connection between uh, hyperphagia or overeating and chronic pain and chronic fatigue.